Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the first match between Art of Turtle and Gypsy. This is, I think, round two of Vapor Bracket. I should name it. I should start talking about the rounds based on what the starting map is. So this is the Eclipse round, and Art of Turtle's going up against Gypsy. This should be a fun match. Gypsy, the heavy favorite, but Art of Turtle... And actually, now that I think about it, this might be Art of Turtle's struggle match. I will say Art of Turtle's capable of beating Gypsy if he plays phenomenally and Gypsy has some trouble. But I will say Gypsy's very, very... He's got excellent micro, he's got excellent macro, and really his troop movement, the mid-game troop movement, and his ability to get in position with the science vessels and just drop continuous irradiates is phenomenal, and that usually is what ends up winning him games. Here, Art of Turtle doesn't have bad Mutalus micro at all, I have seen him have some trouble in this matchup with his Overlord placement, actually. He'll have Overlords that wander a little bit too far afield, end up getting taken out at critical moments. It looks like he's going to open up with a Nine Pool, interestingly enough. So going for aggressive Zergling opener. Gypsy staging up to maybe seal in his natural expansion. We'll see if he's got the... Uh, and this is unfortunate for Art of Turtle because he's taking a bit of an economic deficit. In fact, he's going up to the 10 drones. I think he was hoping for a quick, lucky early win. But Gypsy already setting up for maybe a front door seal. There is still a gap right there, but an SV blockading and a Marine in the way can help defend that location. So spawning pool. So basically Art of Turtle going for the less economically favorable opener, wanting to get some Zerglings out in the field, maybe apply pressure early to Gypsy. And Gypsy already looks like he's creating something to potentially counter it. He didn't do the Supply Depot barracks below Supply Depot, which would be a pure seal, but this is still somewhat defensible. We'll see if he can turn around and make it happen. We have a drone that is going to be able to shoot the gap at the very least. You can see he's already trying to harass that SCV, second SCV off the line already, and that should be alarm bells for Gypsy to start. Nice bit of micro there on both parts so that oh, the drone getting boxed out so now gonna <laughs> do a little bit of dance and flipping out before pulling out, but you already have that SCV nearby. Yeah, dropping it looks like the second supply depot to complete the seal. The Marines should plop down. We have the Zerglings on the way. I believe the SCV already, yeah, already spotted it and critically is gonna see this gas a lot later. And this might be all in Zergling as far as a follow-up from Art or Turtle. We'll have to see. He's got two Zerglings being built here, but he still has not plopped down either a third. He hasn't made motions to go for a third hatchery as of yet. Nor has he grabbed that gas, which means Mutalisks are going to be very, very late. And now we've got all sorts of SCVs waiting for these Zerglings and two Marines right there. So again, yeah, Art of Turtle and nice defense on that Lurker Egg as well. So Art of Turtle's initial gambit being stymied. He was able to kill the SCV out in forward field, so he still has some opportunity to do some interesting things. It looks like he's probably going to move out with this drone and go for a three hatch before gas build as far as recovery. But what that does do for Gypsy is as long as he doesn't flub it, and as soon as he has a, an additional Marine or two out, he can go ahead and draw these SCV back. Uh, doesn't need to worry about the threat on the front as much, although he's in the dark, doesn't know how many Zerglings are being produced. Third In base third hatchery, and an extractor being dropped from Art of Turtle to follow this up. We'll see if this turns into a Lurker all-in to follow up, or if he does in fact go for the later delayed Nine, or uh, I should say three hatch mutalisks, where you get the nine mutalisks a little bit later, but you still get mutalisks out at the very least. Comes out, I think, somewhere around like the 7.30 minute mark, depending on when this works out for Arter Turtle. Unfortunately, I expect Gypsy, with the more modern build orders, it's kind of fallen out of favor just because Terran have gotten so good at producing a lot of troops or getting that plus one weapons, range, stim, everything else in position really, really rapidly. Arter Turtle is still dancing. I, Wanting to check the troop counts is seeing the standard amount of Marines on the front. Natural expansion now up for Gypsy. He's got a huge economic lead and Art of Turtle still sitting on, yeah, a lower drone count. It looks like he's instead dropping the Hydralis then down. Now, does this turn into a Hydralis bust or does he go for the lair and go for a lurker all in? I have a feeling this might be a just straight up Hydra bust on what we've, yeah, he's going to go for that Hydralis speed and just produce a lot of Hydralis, try to punch down this natural expansion and hope Gypsy went for... And this could work, actually, if Gypsy just sticks to either the two barracks play or a little bit lighter uh, initial barracks count and doesn't produce a lot of troops. I was going for a faster plus one weapon, something along those lines. He doesn't need to, considering how late that gas came down. 
Right now, just getting medics and getting stim out. We have the academy behind the minimap right there. Also, commsat station coming online. And so might see this coming. So there's a very small window where these hydralisks might be able to move out for Arter Turtle and punish that front door. He's already drawing that overlord back. He sees the troop count over the wall. It's going to be tight, though, because Marine Medic. So first commsat drops. Can I get the vision, actually? Of So that's the wrong person vision of, so... Nope, actually, that's the wrong vision. So he looks like he comps out of both locations, saw the Hydralis den, and saw that there's no layer morphing. So now, lifting off, actually dropping a bunker on the front and pushing the Zerglings off the front door to mitigate any sort of additional troop advantage. So basically, why they don't, while they don't have Hydralis support and no Zergling speed, go ahead and take those Zerglings out so they're less of a threat down the line. Gypsy now recognizes that this is an all-in. Two bunkers being placed, and all he has to do is sidle in, make sure he keeps these up and running, and Art of Turtle's economy is in a really bad situation. A, tur a turret just in case something got missed. Interesting play here. I think he is still wondering if this is a lurker all-in or not, but SCVs will maybe have to pull off the line. The bu a second bunker canceled. Gypsy playing a little bit tight. Now we have the movement in. Picking off those medics is going to be key. And the focus fire on Arter Turtles, because you can see if he just focus, if he doesn't focus fire, the Medic Marine outperform. He's got to focus fire with those Hydralisks on single units, able to draw one Marine away, or he needs to drain that Medic energy or pick off the Medics altogether. But right now, with just four Hydralisks remaining, it looks like it's not going to end up getting accomplished. Not enough micro there from Arter Turtle, now moving his way up to Lair to try to do some sort of recovery follow-up. But... Even before the seven minute mark, we already have the factory being constructed. We have plus one weapons, a tick away. We've got the third barracks being, for third and fourth barracks being added on. So Gypsy and not too long gonna be able to overwhelm anything that Arter Turtle is gonna be able to throw at him. So Zerglings, yeah, just getting peeled out. And you can see Gypsy pushing that advantage, recognizing, okay, there's no lurkers here. I've got Medic Marines, which unless there's fantastic micro on the opposite side beats up uh, Hydralisk Zergling just heads up, especially with Stim in between there and plenty of medic energy. So decimating the troops that Art of Turtle had. And now Art of Turtle has one last opportunity to maybe get a hold position lurker out in the field and get lucky. But fortunately for him, Gypsy might be giving that, um, him that opportunity because Gypsy instead, wow, look at this, going up to... So he is going to get the starport up, but he's dropped the machine shop, maybe going to get a siege tank out and go for a bust. Yeah, it has that siege tank on the way. It has five barracks pushing a bunch of units. It's just going to go for the game win right here. Arter Turtle in a desperate situation now. It doesn't matter how... Yeah, the Zerglings aren't going to cut it against the Medic Marine. The... He really needed hold position lurker somewhere out on the map right now, like right here. And he's just not going to have it because of the, that late gas and the timing of everything. And so these Medics are going to be able to push with these Marines, going to be able to push all the way to the natural expansion as plus one weapons is coming online. So again, maybe with some beautiful focus fire and troop positioning, we can see it happening. Zergling's getting a pretty good surround, picking off a handful of these Marines, but Arter Turtle's still bleeding more units. And this is still looking like a decent trade, or the Medic's gonna be able to make their way out. They're out of energy and starting to evacuate. Arter Turtle might be able to beat up what's left, but we already, with that five barracks and that factory running behind this, we already have another army just waiting to absorb what's coming. So three medics get wiped out. That does again open up an opportunity, a queen's nest dropping for Arter Turtle. So he's researching Lurker Tech. Gonna try to play two base straight to Hive as a recovery. I think he saw that siege tank, so he knows he's got limited time to make things happen. Science facility on the way as well. Maybe one advantage here is the lack of comm set. So we've got what, two, uh, scan? We got one scan to maybe spot the lurkers, depending on position. So if Art of Turtle utilizes that absolutely, and it looks like he's morphing them to that upper plateau, Gypsy can skip it just by going for a northern attack route, though. He just, oh, and that's a lot of lurkers being bore, uh, constructed right there from Art of Turtle. If Gypsy just go, he's got twice the supply. If he just goes for a northerly route, he should be okay. The lurker's trying to sneak back to that natural expansion. There's already a turret right there, so they're getting wiped out. His best bet would have been a hold position attack. And unfortunately, now that's also tipped the hand to Gypsy that, hey, there are lurkers out in the field. Lurkers have not yet burrowed on the high ground plateau. 
Now Burrow, Gypsy running headlong into it, dropping comps a little bit late, bleeding some medic marines, but he can afford to do so. The siege tank, the siege tanks range the lurkers, and that is gonna probably be GG right there from Arter Turtle, because losing that lurker attack force was the last little bit he had to stem the tide against Gypsy. He's got Hive Tech going at one. He doesn't have a third gas, so he's gonna just try to play it off two. The science vessel's out. As soon as the science vessel starts moving forward with all of the medic marines, etc., that are out here. Arter Hurdle simply just does not have the economy, nor does he have the tech units out here in the form of defilers or anything else to push Gypsy back. These lurkers, I just don't see it happening against Gypsy's micro and also the volume of units that he's just pushing out. So the Hive, hive Tech's not finished. And he's already going to have the Medic Marines plus Science Vessels sitting at his natural expansion. Gypsy pressing up peeling away. The Lurker's looking to get an engagement on top of the Siege Tanks. It's not going to happen. The Zergling's also getting bled out. The Lurker's not able to get there, and there's GG from Arter Turtle. A nice recovery attempt, but ultimately Gypsy able to just punch it. Unfortunate Gambit from top to bottom for Arter Turtle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, we're going to move on to game two.